Hey beautiful people, Ryan Hamer here, and today in this video, we're going to be talking about why you should maximize your credit line increases and your credit increases. So what do I mean by that? If you have a credit card, if you have a line of credit, and the bank or the lender offers you an increase, take it. I always say, take that, take that, take that, take that. Reason being is it's more, it's easier for you to get an offer, like it's easier if you're, if you're given an offer rather than you're begging for one. You know what I mean? So what, means, what it means is if you're being a great financial steward of your credit and your finances, the banks are going to offer you stuff. They're going to offer you an increase. They're going to offer you a different type of credit card. They're going to offer you a cashback credit card, a dividend credit card, something that's independent of your regular vanilla credit card that you have. And the reason why you want to take advantage of that and the increase is because you're going to get perks, you're going to get benefits, and you're going to be looked at differently as well as you're going to get different rewards as well as the increase will, will come. And the reason why the increase is there is because, as I said, you've been, you've been a good steward of your finances. Take it. It's a lot easier to it's a lot easier when it's offered to you than if you say, oh, uh, uh, I have a car payment that I'm going to miss. Let me go and beg the bank for an increase. Mm -mm. So if it's offered to you, you take that. You always want to take the increase. Lines of credit, same thing. If you're doing well with your line of credit and they offer you a bump, take that bump. Because chances are they like to reduce, reduce what you have. Or they might not be, you know, depending on the market changes, interest rate changes, all sorts of things. Some banks don't want to lend out money anymore. They don't want to, they're not, or I shouldn't say anymore. They always want to lend out money, but it's never as easy to get money from the banks. So if a lender is offering you an increase, it's always within your best interest to take it. Another reason why you want to take the increase is because of capacity. Remember, I talk a lot about utilization and how your utilization is key. If you keep your utilization in between a lower than 20% or between 20 and 30%, you're in good form. And what happens if you actually increase your limit? That makes your utilization go down because of the fact that you have an increased capacity of credit with which you can use responsibly. Now, that's the key word, using your credit responsibly. And I understand that le leads us into the next segue, into why wouldn't you want to increase your your uh, revolving credit, via your line of credit or your credit cards. A lot of people are afraid to do that. A lot of people are afraid to have a, a high credit card limit. A lot of people are afraid to have a high uh, line of credit limit. And the reason being is they know themselves. They know that they will spend and go hog wild. There's some people, you heard that term, a hole burning in your pocket. So if you're that kind of person where you got a hole burning in your pocket, then maybe it's not really a good idea for you at that time. However, I always advocate that you increase your limits when, you're, when they are offered because they're not offered all the time. And the thing about it is, if you are offered the limit, you have to work on yourself. So remember, the road to great credit, high credit score, a great credit profile, it is a journey. It is not a sprint. So if you have to educate yourself and do what you need to do to become a better steward of your money and so that you don't operate out of impulse and reflex and emotion, because a lot of people will, as I said, I said this in another video, people will cancel a credit card because of a, a stupid foolish argument they had with a customer service rep that they will never see ever again or talk to on the phone ever again. And that card that they canceled could have been their oldest credit card that they got when they were 16 or whatever, or 18 when they were in college or something like that. And it's 20 years later. So you're operating out of a, 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 a bad mental space, a poor mental space. You're operating out of emotion because of a situation that was really insignificant. And it completely changes the trajectory of your credit because you're getting rid of your oldest account, which is not good. And when... We talk about emotions and stuff like that. If you are a person who spends based on how you feel, that's a problem. That's something that you need to work on. So if you are afraid to increase your credit, your credit uh, 
your line of credit or your credit card limit because you know that you're an emotional impulse shopper or you're an emotional person and when you get upset, you get a breakup or you, you, you get mad or you, uh, you're carrying shoes in your trunk of your car or you got them in a closet or you can't have shoes at work because you just buy all these shoes or stuff like that. And, and I'm not just, I'm not hating on, I'm not hating on, the, on the ladies because I know guys that buy sneakers and spend exorbitant amounts of money, completely unreasonable. You know, on these sneakers that they actually wear. It's not even like they take these sneakers and they're like, oh, these are rare. I'm going to put them here and resell them and make some money. Hold them until they, they, they kick some value. No, these people are just spending money. And so if you're that type of person, then maybe it might not necessarily be the best idea for you to accept the limit if you know that you can't control it. And as the... Uh, the lottery, as the lottery people say, know your limit and play within it, right? So if you have to play within your limit until you understand and learn how to control it, control your impulses and control yourself, then that's something that you should do. Don't don't increase your, your limit. If you know that you're a big spender, a frequent spender, uh, a spender that you, and yeah, that's all I can say, right? Just because your limit is increased, it doesn't mean you gotta take a trip to to, to St. Thomas or Acapulco or wherever. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. If you can pay for a trip, pay for it in cash if you can. Because uh, what's going to happen is that stuff will go on your credit card and it'll just sit there and sit there and sit there and sit there. But hey, if you have the money, if you have the income to cover that, then good. That's great. That's fine. Now, in the next video, that uh, in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about velocity banking and what happens if you do have high balances if you do have a, a high line of credit if you do have a high uh, credit card there are different things that you can do to bring those balances down provided that you are working and you have stable income coming in now there are some people that do kiting <laughs> where they move money from one credit card to another credit card and so on and so on and just spread the money around to satisfy the minimum payments and it works for a time but it's just you're just moving money around and you're not really hitting principal you're not really bringing the balances down you're just satisfying the algorithm to show that okay he's made, he or she's making the minimum payment now that's not good either and if you're in a situation like that where you lost your job and you don't have money coming in, then again, increasing your credit limit isn't necessarily the wisest idea. If you don't have the ability to pay it back, make payments on time, make significant dents to reduce your balance, or if you are too scared to, to carry a higher balance, you're too scared to... Uh, actually work on bringing down your balances, you're not working, there are a number of factors that go into play. But it is good if you do have a higher balance on your credit card or your line of credit because in case something comes up, an emergency of some sort that you need to tackle and you need to deal with. And some people like, look, when COVID was going on, there were people that were living out of their lines of credit, living off of their credit cards because they had a high balance, because they were able to do that, because they were good financial steward of their money. And it's not always easy to do that. It's not easy to live off your credit card. But some people were doing it and they found ways to handle existing expenses. You know, you're able to make your, your, your car insurance payment off of a credit card. You're able to make your car payment off of a credit card and you didn't get your card your car repossessed because you were able to find the money either on your line of credit or on your credit card. And some people were able to increase their lines of credit and still make the minimum payments some way, somehow. They had savings and they moved that money over, what have you. Look, hopefully, the whole C-19 situation was a once-in-a-lifetime situation and that will not occur again. And keep on pushing on. Never give up. Know that credit is a... It is a privilege it is not necessarily a right because you have to show that you are credit worthy so that you can get these increases you can get offered a, a new a new uh, credit card limit and remember some depending on where you are they normally ask you they provide you with the offer and then you can click on it 
they don't they what they used to do was they used to give you the limit they used to increase your credit card or increase your line of credit automatically and so you go into your account and you're like whoa, whoa how come my how come my credit my credit card is so high now what have you so now they don't do it they usually offer it to you and then you have the option to accept All right but thanks again for taking the time to watch this video hopefully you got some value out of it and i wish you a wonderful day please feel free to like share and subscribe with anyone else you know who will get some value out of this video have a good one